The world is undergoing profound and swift changes, changes that have the potential to alter the trajectory of history. However, as is often the case, many people are unaware of the significance of what's happening in the United States. Much of the media's attention is consumed with the upcoming presidential elections, focusing on figures like Donald Trump and Kamala Harris. Yet, behind the scenes, seismic events are unfolding that could reshape the global economic landscape in ways as impactful, or even more so, than a major war. These events receive very little coverage in the mainstream media, but their consequences will ripple across the globe. At the center of this quiet but monumental shift is the US dollar, the world's dominant currency for over seven decades. Its role as the primary reserve currency is being challenged, and this challenge is growing stronger with each passing day. The upcoming BRICS summit, scheduled from October 22nd to October 24th, 2024, is poised to be a historic event that could mark the beginning of a new global financial order. Something big is about to happen, and its ramifications will be felt not only in America, but across the entire world. To fully grasp the significance of what's happening, we need to understand the pivotal role the US dollar has played in the global economy since World War II. Following the Bretton Woods Agreement in 1944, the US dollar was established as the world's primary reserve currency. This meant that most international trade and financial transactions were conducted in dollars, and foreign governments held large reserves of dollars to stabilize their economies. It is not an exaggeration to say that the Bretton Woods Agreement fundamentally changed the world. The dollar's dominance allowed the United States to wield tremendous economic influence, becoming the backbone of the global financial system. Much of the success, affluence and prosperity that the United States has experienced can be attributed to this. For decades, this arrangement served the world well. The stability of the U.S. economy, combined with the strength of its institutions, made the dollar a trusted currency for global trade. However, recent years have seen cracks begin to form in this once unshakable foundation. The numerous sanctions on different countries, the rising national debt, political instability, and concerns about the long-term strength of the U.S. economy have led many nations to reconsider their reliance on the dollar. Sanctions on different countries are the largest contributing factor to nations reducing their reliance on the U.S. dollar. This is because sanctions, particularly those imposed by the United States, can restrict access to the global financial system, which is heavily dependent on the dollar. Countries like Russia, China, and Iran have faced significant sanctions, prompting them to seek alternatives to reduce their vulnerability to U.S. financial leverage. This brings us to the upcoming BRICS Summit. BRICS was founded in 2009 to foster closer ties among Russia, China, India, and Brazil, and now comprises nine members, with 45% of the world's population. The BRICS nations account for up to 28% of global exports. The combined GDP of the member states exceeds that of the G7 nations. BRICS is an acronym for Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, a coalition of major emerging economies that have long sought to challenge the global financial order. What makes the 2024 summit particularly significant is the recent expansion of BRICS to include new member nations such as Argentina, Egypt, Ethiopia, Iran, Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates. This expanded coalition now represents approximately 36% of global GDP and nearly 46% of the world's population. At this summit, BRICS nations are expected to discuss ways to reduce their reliance on the U.S. dollar, potentially setting the stage for a new global financial order. 
Some analysts have compared this summit to the Bretton Woods Conference, which reshaped the world's financial landscape nearly 80 years ago. The decisions made at this summit could have far-reaching consequences for the future of global trade and the position of the United States in the world economy. The implications of a weakened U.S. dollar are staggering. If the dollar loses its status as the world's primary reserve currency, it would not only devalue the dollar, but also destabilize the U.S. economy. Inflation could skyrocket, making goods and services more expensive for Americans. The United States' ability to impose sanctions on other countries, a key tool of its foreign policy, would be greatly diminished. Economically, it would be a significant blow to the country's global influence. Former U.S. President Donald Trump has spoken out about this possibility, warning that if the U.S. dollar loses its dominant position in global trade, it would be the equivalent of losing a war. Speaking on the All In podcast, Trump noted that countries around the world are increasingly moving away from the dollar, and this shift could have devastating consequences for the United States. His warning should not be taken lightly, as the movement to reduce reliance on the dollar is gaining momentum. The BRICS summit is a critical moment in this broader shift. The countries involved are some of the world's largest and fastest growing economies, and they are actively exploring alternatives to the US-led financial system. The inclusion of powerful nations like Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates, which have vast reserves of oil and other resources, only adds to the potential impact of this new coalition. Together, these nations are positioning themselves to challenge the dollar's supremacy. At this point, you might be wondering why Christians should be concerned about global economic shifts. The answer lies in the Bible's prophetic teachings about the end times and the role that global governance and economic control will play in those events. The Bible provides clear warnings about a future global economic system that will control the ability to buy and sell, as outlined in Revelation 13, 16, 17. This passage speaks of a time when no one will be able to engage in commerce unless they receive the mark of the beast. As Christians, it is important to be aware of how global financial trends and political changes could set the stage for the fulfillment of these prophecies. The rise of digital currencies, the movement toward economic consolidation, and the growing cooperation between nations to create alternative financial systems are all developments that could play a role in the establishment of a global economic system. Understanding these trends helps us discern how they might fit into the larger picture of biblical prophecy. In Revelation 13, 16-17, the Bible describes a future system where no one can buy or sell unless they have the mark of the beast. This prophecy points to a global economic system that exercises tight control over financial transactions. While the events unfolding at the BRICS summit may not directly lead to this outcome, they could certainly lay the groundwork for such a system in the future. As economic systems become more digitized and globalized, the mechanisms for enforcing financial control on a global scale become more feasible. The Bible also speaks of a future one-world government that will have authority over all nations, led by a central figure who is none other than the Antichrist. This leader will not only control political affairs, but also oversee a unified economic system. Revelation paints a picture of a world where political and economic power is centralized, and those who do not conform to the system will be excluded from participation in the economy. The developments taking place in the global financial system today are not yet the fulfillment of this prophecy, but they are steps in that direction. The rise of BRICS and the move toward de-dollarization reflect a shift toward greater global cooperation outside the traditional Western-led institutions 
like the IMF and World Bank. The creation of alternative payment systems and the potential for a new global currency could set the stage for a more unified world economy, where power is consolidated in the hands of a few. As Christians, we must be discerning of how these trends in economic alliances and global governance could evolve over time. We are called to be watchful and to understand the times we are living in. The Bible provides us with prophetic insight into the future, and it is our responsibility to recognize how current events might align with those prophecies. One of the most significant developments being discussed at the 2024 BRICS Summit is the potential creation of a new global digital currency. Such a currency could be linked to central banks and used across multiple nations, providing an alternative to the U.S. dollar for international trade. The implications of a global digital currency are profound. Not only would it challenge the dominance of the dollar, but it could also facilitate the type of economic control described in Revelation 13. As the world moves toward digital currencies, the possibility of a global financial system that exercises control over buying and selling becomes more plausible. Digital currencies allow for greater transparency and oversight, making it easier for governments or central authorities to monitor and regulate transactions. In a future where a single global currency is adopted, the potential for financial exclusion, such as that described in the Mark of the Beast prophecy, becomes a real possibility. The Bible warns us about a time when people will be forced to choose between their allegiance to God and their participation in the world's economic system. Those who refuse to receive the Mark of the Beast will be excluded from buying and selling effectively cutting them off from the global economy. While we may not be at that point yet, the trends we are seeing today point in that direction. As Christians, we must be prepared to make difficult choices in the future, trusting in God's provision even in the face of economic hardship. In light of these developments, what should the Christian response be? First and foremost, we must remember that God is in control. Nothing is happening or will happen outside His control. God is fully aware of these global events, including political and economic upheavals. He knows precisely how everything will unfold according to His perfect plan. Most importantly, God knows you, your family, and your situation intimately. Not a single aspect of your life escapes his attention. Whether it's financial concerns, health struggles, or personal trials, God is with you and is actively involved in your life, offering peace and guidance in the midst of uncertainty. While the world may seem chaotic and uncertain, we can take comfort in knowing that nothing happens outside of God's sovereign plan. You can rest in knowing that God knows the end from the beginning. Before these events even occur, God has already seen them, and He knows how everything will ultimately bring about His glory and our good. The Bible tells us that these things must happen, but it also reminds us that God's purposes will ultimately prevail. As Christians, we are called to be watchful and discerning, Jesus warned his followers to be aware of the signs of the times and to be prepared for his return. In Matthew 24, 6 through 8, Jesus speaks of wars, rumors of wars, famines and earthquakes as the beginning of sorrows. These events are signs that we are moving closer to the end, but they are not the end themselves. Likewise, the shifting global economy and the rise of bricks are signs that the world is moving toward greater consolidation of power. But we must remain focused on the ultimate fulfillment of God's plan. In practical terms, this means that we must remain steadfast in our faith. We must not allow the distractions of the world, whether political, economic or otherwise, to pull us away from our relationship with God. 
The Bible tells us in 1 Timothy 6, 17 to 19, not to put our hope in wealth, but in God, who richly provides for us. As we see the global economy shifting, we must remember that our true security comes from the Lord, not from the financial systems of this world. We must also be diligent in sharing the gospel. The Bible teaches that the time is short, and we are called to make disciples of all nations. As we approach the end of the age, the urgency of the Great Commission becomes even more pressing. People are searching for answers in these uncertain times, and we have the hope of the gospel to offer them. Let us not be distracted by the temporary concerns of this world, but instead, focus on fulfilling the mission that God has given us. Something big is about to happen. The global order is shifting, and the world is on the brink of major economic and political changes. The 2024 BRICS Summit may not be making headlines in the mainstream media, but it has the potential to reshape the future of the global financial system. As Christians, we must be aware of these changes and understand how they fit into the larger picture of biblical prophecy. The world may be focused on the upcoming U.S. elections, but behind the scenes, seismic events are taking place that will have far-reaching consequences. The question for Christians is not whether we should be concerned, but whether we are prepared. Let us watch, pray, and remain faithful as we navigate these uncertain times, knowing that God's purposes will ultimately prevail. No matter what happens in the world, we can have confidence that God is in control and that His kingdom will endure forever.